production, you will be watching People Song for Valentine's Day with Callie, Lily, Erica, and Emma. On their thoughts on Valentine's Day. What's your thoughts about Valentine's Day? I think that Valentine's Day is a very nice holiday where you get to share kindness and love with the people you love. And also, it's fun because you get to eat candy and share things with each other. Well, it's obviously a holiday, and we get to like make boxes and trade Valentine's, and there's usually like a party. Yeah, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is a holiday that you get to express your emotions with between other people. What do you think about Valentine's Day? I think Valentine's Day is where you can start giving people gifts and you can. What do you think about Valentine's Day? Um, I don't know. It's like a holiday that you celebrate love, I guess. Um, but I just celebrate it with friends because I'm lonely. Um, I think Valentine's Day is about love and getting chocolate. Thoughts on Valentine's Day? My thoughts on Valentine's Day are like sometimes it can be really sweet and like when you get like your boyfriend and girlfriend like. But some people don't have anybody, so you just go celebrate with friends. But if you don't have friends, you're lonely, and that's me. Um, I like Valentine's Day because we get chocolate, and flowers, and teddy bears. What do you think about Valentine's Day? I mean, I'm all about love, but if they ain't rich, they ain't getting nothing. <laughs> I think Valentine's Day has a lot of meaning, but it is a lot more meaningful if you have a significant other. Well, I like, I like getting boxes of chocolate, because I like chocolate. Chocolate's good. Valentine's Day, Lupercalia survived the initial rise of Christianity but was outlawed as it was deemed unchristian. As the end of the 5th century when Pope Glacius declared February 14th St. Valentine's Day, it was not until much later, however, the, that the day became definitely associated with love. The day where lovers expressed their affection with their using gifts. The holiday has origins in the Roman festival of Lupercalia and held in mid-February. Although there were several Christian martyrs named Valentine, the day may have taken its name from a priest who has martyred about 270 CE by the Emperor Claudius, Claudius II Gothicus. According to, according to legend, the priest signed a letter from your Valentine to his jailer's daughter, whom he had befriended in by some accounts healed from blindness. That's all, folks. Hi, I'm Liz with Father Aya, and after this introduction, you'll be watching Gift Ideas for your Valentine with Gregory and Kevin. Yes.
Hi, I'm Nisha Reporter Kayla. After this introduction, you'll be watching a new show, Expectation vs. Reality, with Addie, Natalie, Malia, Carl Carla, and Alexa. Expectation vs. Reality, asking a Valentine's <laughs> about to show. Alexa, will you do my Valentine? Sure. Reality. Will you be my Valentine? No. <laughs> James Charles here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing my special guest makeup, Mason. So let's get started. What are we going to be doing? Okay. The Valentine's Day look. So we're going to start off with the light pink that we have, and we're going to just place that on your eyelid, like with your eyes. So now we're going to be doing um, some red. Okay, so <laughs> now we're going to be using a little bit of a shimmery pink. Okay, and now we're going to use some of this like coralish color. And that's the eyes. So now we're going to be doing some blush with just a blush brush. And we're just going to use this little orangish color. And on the side, blend it. And that's the finished look. Hi sisters, James Charles here. Let's watch the reality. So we're gonna start off with your kidding, so close your eyes. <laughs> Why is this so awkward? Okay, and now we're gonna do on the other eye. Okay, now, um, gotta make sure I got the names right. We're gonna use literally, like literally shook. So, close your eyes. Don't put your head up. Up, like look up, there you go. Okay, now we're gonna use this color. I can't remember his name. Put it up here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, this is a flop. Oh my goodness. Oh my Oh my my. Bye sisters. Bye, Bye sisters. sisters. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Nurse Reporter Elaine, and after this introduction, you will be watching the review or about the Super Bowl with Ephraim, Corey, Mason, and Jacob. Wondering why we were talking about the Super Bowl when it was 16 days ago. Anyway, hi, my name is Ephraim and this is Jacob. And today we're going to be talking about the Super Bowl. Here's a fact. The Green Bay Fa Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs were in the first Super Bowl and the Green Bay Packers came back and beat the Chiefs with a score of 35 to 10. It was held at Memorial Coliseum in LA. Also, the most recent time the Colts won in the Super Bowl was 2007 against the Chicago Bears and the Colts won with a score of 29 to 17. 
It was played at Dolphin Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida. The New England Patriots have been in the Super Bowl the last nine times in a row. Here are the recent three against the Falcons and won, and then against the Eagles and lost finally. Then this year they're going against the LA Rams this year. This year, Super Bowl is called the Super Bowl 53. Fun facts about the Super Bowl. Number one is Super Bowl Sunday is the second largest day for food consumption in the U.S. Thanksgiving is first. Number two, the Super Bowl holds nine of the ten spots for the most watched TV broadcast of all time in the U.S. My third and final fact is the this is the 20th Super Bowl that a former Purdue player has been a part of the Super Bowl. All the members of our new segment want the LA Rams to beat the Patriots. The LA Rams have a 52.4% chance of beating the Patriots. Score for Super Bowl 53 was 13-3 and the Pats lassoed the Rams for their sixth Super Bowl win. Fun fact, this Super Bowl was the lowest scoring scoring Super Bowl ever. Also, the halftime show was played by Adam Levine and the Maroon 5 with a secret entrance of Travis Scott and Big Big Boy Julian. Edelman got rewarded MVP of Super Bowl 53. Chris Long, a fullback from the Eagles, earned the Walter Payton Award. Well, folks, that's for that's it for watching this new segment. Contestant three says talk. Okay, now we are going to 
blindfold Mason, and then we're gonna bring him to the one that he liked the most, and then, yeah. <laughs> okay. You like Taylor! <laughs> <laughs> 